button. Pulling up my notes because I can't do a stinking thing without my notes available. Welcome back, mech fans. I'm Olaf Krieg, and this is the Triple Press. That's right, the best show on Solaris, bringing you all the mech news you can fit into a mech bag. Not to mention the best coverage and the finest combat sports entertainment ever since 3022. Brought to you, of course, by the Donegal Broadcasting Corporation, the Solaris Broadcasting Company, and last, certainly not least, the Krieg Dominion Media. I'm here today with Darius Montemurri, the owner-manager of the Luthien Dragonborn, currently getting ready to go into the first of two semifinals matches. Darius, before I get any further along, let me not forget my manners and say, hello, my friend. How are you doing today? Well, I mean, things could be better. Uh, sorry about being half an hour late. That That's on me. That's fine. Um, I hear the I mechs would... are still getting ready. The mech jocks, you know, some of them are kind of prima donna. No, 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 no. I, I was at the hospital. Oh, I apologize. I forgot. Well, I didn't forget. Who can forget what happened? But understandably. Yeah, my my wife. Yes. So, uh, uh, she's, she's definitely stabilized and doing better. Well, that's good. But she's got a decent road ahead of her. Definitely a time-consuming road, from what I've heard. Several weeks at the least before she is, I believe from the last official reports at any rate, before she is on what one could consider to be flight duty. Yeah. Well, Pretty again, much. Our, the studio offers, of course, our condolences and wishes for a speedy recovery time. Or at least less Thank painful. You. Thank you very much. How it, how are things on the homestead at the moment? Obviously, the homestead is, well, frankly, kind of split because you're doing your thing, trying to support your wife, who is currently hospitalized. Define homestead. Whatever it is that you and your wife call a domicile. And he is trying not to be too snarky. But you know Olaf can get snarky. <laughs> I mean, it's... It's fine. I just, I've been spending most of my time at the hospital. Ah, uh, yes. Well, I, I mean, that's, it would make sense. Now, last week, you took on the Canopian Honeybees. Yeah. Really good match. Uh, almost a textbook match, as I recall, in how to defeat one's opponent. Uh, not to say that the Honeybees didn't give you a run for their money. Or your money, I suppose would be the proper phrasing. But at the end of the day, it's difficult when you're going up against a king crab. Yes, it is. Knowing what kind of uh, opposition, I really didn't want to use that word, but I couldn't think of a better one fast enough, considering that's a, another team's mascot. But considering the industrialized opposition you'll be going up against tonight in the form of American industrialists, what... What kind of thinking, what kind of planning, strategy meetings, what are, you know, what what do the preparations look like, even in, in and amongst the, kind of hate to say distraction, it makes it sound so insensitive, but, you know, in and amongst the fact that you're in and out of the hospital, check on and, and supporting your wife. Well, we, we've got our two ace pilots down. Yeah. So, uh... It's not looking too good as far as, you know, um, I, I'm not expecting the performance that we usually put out. Uh, Can so... the Dragonborn win tonight? That, I think, is the big question. I think a lot of fans are aware of the change in personnel status. You've taken several hits over the last few weeks. Uh, Rick's dad being drafted, Vamsey being injured, now your wife Liz being hurt. Yeah, and uh, by the way, Vamsey's doing fine. Oh, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. I imagine she's moved to like light duty or the mech jock equivalent thereof. Um, yeah, she she got out of the hospital. I think last week. I want to say. Why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> but she's maybe she's still in a wheelchair. Who knows? But uh, she, uh, she's still on the road to recovery. Well, that's good. That's good to hear. 
I think the fans really want to know, though, can this, and I believe some of the media outlets have actually called this the Dragonborn B team, can they compete with the experience level that the industrialists are likely to field tonight? Oh, the indu- the what? The industrialists, yes, we know. You're, you think your team's better than everybody else. The industrialists, you know, they're going to be putting their best feet forward, and you, well, yours Who are... are Yes, yes, yes. We know the joke. We've we've all said the joke, not just heard it. Well, there's a reason for that. <laughs> well, listen, only one team came close. No, let me let me rethink that before I say that one, because now I got to pull on my out of character memory, which is horrible. Uh, let's see. The without looking on the website that I have all the information stored on. The Industrious went something like six wins, two losses, and a draw, uh-huh. finishing in second place on a tied score of total cumulative victory points. And the reason why they finished in second place was because the other team they tied with, the debutants, had more wins on the record. So... Uh-huh. Regardless, they did finish second place, which is higher than I believe the fourth place that the Dragonborn. There's there's a lot of snark coming in right there. <laughs> yeah, well, when we're relying on our B team, we don't perform quite as well. Hmm. It does bring up some interesting thoughts, I'm sure. But how you manage your team, of course, is entirely up to you. Everybody can be a Monday morning quarterback. Or in this case, Monday morning, mech jock, captain, team leader, rogue six. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I am being told that the mechs are just about ready for this this match. Any final comments from Mr. Matamuri? Matamuri Sama. Uh, Sorry, I've been in the hospital a bit. Uh, who are we fighting again? You're going up against the American industrialists. They have the home field advantage. Yes, I'm sure they do. <laughs> I never would have imagined Darius Matamuri to be the out of like just out of his mind, not out of his mind, but like disconnected, lack of focus type. But here we are because, for obvious reasons, he is disconnected and lack of focus <laughs> all right let's go ahead right, and let's, let's get to the match yep let's get to the match let's take a look uh i need to pull up my other notes now well, hopefully no more of my pilots will get damaged i make no promises on that my friend i know i know <laughs> nothing you can do about it anyway. yeah it's just the way the the dice go man all right, I've already added the one point of experience to all pilots and techs that are not on the injured list. No intention of puns or other jokes here. That's just the way that the rules are. Uh, yeah. Midweek events, you selected marketing and training. Go ahead and give me a 2D6. Let me get to that particular page in the rules because I don't remember shit without looking it up. All right, midweek events. You chose marketing and training. Go ahead and give me that 2d6 for marketing, please. For a total of eight, that will give you plus 2d3 wealth. Go ahead and give me a 2d3 roll, and we'll add that to your spreadsheet. For a total of two. Right tab here. Uh, other marketing. All right, and then for training, uh, you have no modifiers on that, so go ahead and give me that 2d6 roll for training, please. I don't have any modifiers for that. Correct. You actually have, like, plus two fans on, on a win and plus one for gathering intelligence. Oh, okay. I see, I see. Um, 2d6. Yep. Well, 
for a six. total of six, which unfortunately is the highest. Nope, not quite the highest. Actually, if you rolled a seven, it would have still been nothing. But unfortunately, the training does not stick this week. But no penalties. Wow. All right, America Death Shift will also be doing some training, so I'm going to roll a 2d6 for them. They have no additional modifiers on top of that. And I get a total of five, so their training did not stick either. So no good training this week. Uh, 2d6 plus one. Obviously, don't type the plus one. We'll have to add that in manually. Uh, 2d6 for gathering intelligence. I only have the plus one. Correct. Total of eight. Nine. Oh, yep, nine. Nope, sorry, you're right. Nine. And this was, uh, let's see, on a nine, you learn what mechs, chassis, and weight your opponents are fielding before making your decision on any changes to your lineup, which I'm sure the answer will be no. But you will be going up against the Flashman 8K, the Thunderbolt 5S, and a Jenner 7F. Shocker. I know that the Merricks would throw out their two heavies and a light that they almost always have used for the last several weeks now. Would you like to make any change? If I could, makes me wonder if I could switch to a couple of Warhammers. You have the option to change your lineup. This is the time. Or you mm. can just cremate them with your fucking ridiculous king crab that I can't kill. And when I say kill, I mean permanently kill. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, it is the semifinals for, you know. But it's your choice. Don't listen to me. Now keep my lineup the same. All right, cool. That means I don't have to change anything on my end. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right. Well, with that, that out that, of the way. That, that weighed heavily on my decision. Oh, I'm sure it did. <laughs> if anything, no, it, it I'm sure if anything, it weighed heavily in favor of changing it just to see me squirm. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, there is our lineup right there on the screen, as predicted or as revealed. Flashman 8K Thunderbolt 5S Jenner 7S, excuse me, 7F for the Merricks going up against the King Crab uh, 010 Wolverine 6M and in a Twist from recent weeks, the Jenner 7F, not the Spider 5V. I'm going to go ahead and give you these guys, and you can take a quick look, make sure I didn't screw something up when uh, setting up their pilots, which I very well may have. Double assuming... checking something. Yep, yep. I know in the past I've done things like forgot to put or forgot to check all five check blocks that apply for edge. Sometimes erroneous numbers thrown in. Not never intentionally, by just I human. I make mistakes. It happens. Yeah. Is they uh... Okay. All right. All right. Assuming I that. Think, uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. I think they're good. All right. Go ahead and take the north side of the map for your deployment edge. The Merricks have chosen the south side at their Merrick something, somebody or other memorial stadium. I'll come up with a suitable Merrick themed name at some point in time. And, All then, right. and then if you would, click on Done, and I will follow suit. Mm. You do have a 300 advantage on me. Yes. I think, that's, I think that's the first time I've had a battle value advantage on you in all of the GTL history. Possibly. All right, friends, the match is underway. This is a semifinals match. There must be a winner. We will 
throw darts at each other from across the entire North American continent, if necessary, in order to determine who the winner will be. I don't think it'll get that far, but just in case it does, we will go that far if we have to. The darts will not cross very far. <laughs> but we will do it. At this point, I'm literally saying anything to kill dead air. <laughs> oh. Well, this looks kind of interesting. Yep. Well, the Merricks are not entirely creative when it comes to map choices. I.e., I come up with some bullshit just because random thoughts. <laughs> okay. Unlike um... others like Grimdark James, who on a melee uh, only match decides to throw nothing but goddamn trees at me to get to him. That wasn't annoying at all. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, let's put him here. Oh. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put up the team logos. Oops, that's not the button I want. Let's do this. Uh, I don't have a timer, so I'm going to take a quick second and fix my display to reflect that this is the American Industrialist taking on the Luthien Dragonborn. Because I forgot that normally I have things up at the bottom of the screen. See, I told yeah. you I forget things because I haven't done this in like several months. It's, I should say several. It's been like two months, I think, since the last match. Who am I playing? I'm playing the dragon. There we go. Now the now the screen looks better for the viewers. Uh, let's see what do we got on this one? Yeah, that that that. Okay, same thing, sort of. All right, here we go. Round one. Looking like, as per normal, I get the initiative short end of the stick. Uh, and, of course, my fastest mech gets to move first. How convenient. Let's see. And, of course, your king crab is literally sitting out in the open for the moment. Yep. Uh, what was my plan again? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, that was my plan. To be a complete asshole to you. No. Why would you just be an asshole? Well, I meant more like being an asshole in character. Not Omar dissing on Darius. I can do that any other time. From the safety <laughs> of the Discord channel. <laughs> <laughs> that way it's only you and me that know what gets said. Mm -hmm. It's mostly things like, fuck the Merricks and fuck the Kareedans. Hmm. Meh. Okay. It's okay. I can't see nothing yet. <clears throat> Still can't see nothing yet. I still won't be able to see anything yet. You got all your people hiding in the in the little hills. Oh! Oh shit, my flashman might be in trouble. <laughs> okay. Well, we know he can't see nobody. We know he can't see nobody. He can see somebody. Let's see. But he doesn't have anything that can range anybody, so... I'm done. That was a quick and dry first round. Oh, you're too far. Oh, poor baby. Do your little ERPPCs not reach quite so far? 
I, I know that was incredibly sar sarcastic and snarky, but I absolutely could not resist. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Considering outside of missiles and the Gauss rifle, I'm pretty sure ERPPCs have the longest range of any other weapon system. Oh, look at that. The initiative continues to shit on me. I don't have any RPPC, just a regular. Oh, shooter. they are regular. Okay. Okay. I, listen, don't act like I've never been wrong before. Uh, let's see. Where do I want to go? Over here. Boop. Then we'll move him. Um, can you... There you go. Good night. I'm pretty sure you don't see my sneaky backstabby Jenner going to rock your shit. Absolutely do not listen to me. I am only talking mad shit because it's the only thing I know how to do. And even then, I fail horrifically. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Right. Time to get my pen out, because I think there's going to be some armor getting sloughed off of Max. Also, I think you can see my dinner now. Yep. Concern. Oh, look at that. AC cluster ammo blasting my Max. Let's see. Flashman hitting with two of the three large lasers on the Wolverine. Light damages. Uh, some stuff fired at my Flashman, so the armor is going to chip and flake. No biggie. Thunderbolt gets some shots in on the Jenner. And the Jenner misses. The Wolverine misses. That's about it for that round. A little bit of heat, but nothing terrible to worry about. And again, initiative is just stomping on me. Look, can I put my penis back in my pants now before you kick it some more? Stupid initiative. Okay, that was probably... Not your penis you should work, worry about. It's your nuts. Well, I mean, listen, neither one of them need to be getting stepped on, okay? <laughs> stepped on, kicked, smashed. All of the above, my friend. All of the above.
<laughs> yeah. I'm hmm. to send this bad boy into disappearing land. Send him over. Hope that won't work either. No, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's do. Bling. I don't know if that would have given me the most defensive modifier possible, but probably better than moving only a handful of hexes. Ooh, the King Crab is getting sneaky. Not sneaky. The King Crab is getting ballsy. It moves straight forward. I mean, not for nothing, if I saw a King Crab moving straight forward in my general direction, I would shit my pants and run. Not, ne <laughs> not necessarily in that order, but... Maybe simultaneously. <laughs> it probably will be simultaneously. There's not much to argue on that one. I love how I need to roll once, go backwards over an elevation change. It literally means I can't fail. Yeah. Uh, well... I think I might need to get this Jenner in the fight or he's going to lose his opportunity to do anything. The silence is deafening. Sorry. No, no, I'm being sarcastic. And stating rather oxymoronic things. Ooh, firing resolution. Let's see what we got. Thunderbolt. Blasting away at the Jenner. And it looks like, yes, hitting with everything on that Jenner. No juicy spots yet, though. King Crab firing on my Jenner, but missing. Needing an 11 at that hit, by the way. Uh, Flashman yeah. hitting once with three large lasers on the Wolverine. The Wolverine returning fire on the Flashman. Some missiles are shot down by this ancient technology called the anti-missile system. The Jenner fires and misses. And it looks like the Merricks once again get the better of the firing ex exchange. 
little bit. Let's see. No appreciable heat buildup. And the battle value now sits at 97 to 96 in favor of the Merricks. And finally, finally, Darius, I get the better end of the initiative shakeout, including my Jenner moving last. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. Yep, so you do. <laughs> Listen, I got to take my victories where I can, okay? This will be the only yeah. round that this happens. On the very next round, the Jenner will move first. I guarantee it. Okay, looks like the Jenner is breaking off. Let's take a look at that Jenner's armor display. It's only got light damage and a little bit in various places. Nothing to be worried about. More than likely, what he is doing is breaking that Jenner off to deflect my Jenner away from his juicy King, Char King Crab's ass. That was a lot more difficult to say than I thought it would be. Um, who is the... Nope, that's not. Give me this. Let's see. Uh, no, you know what? I'm running down my own clock here, so I gotta think about what I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, what was the? Yes, yes, that's right. Fall into my trap, sir. Fall into my trap. Considering I've got a king crab. I see I you're doing like a trap. <laughs> I see you're doing the Jedi method of of uh dealing with traps. Spring the trap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom. And precious giggles, boom. You. You get fucked up because I got. Oh no, never mind. Okay, so let's see. I may have slightly screwed up my plan. But we'll see what happens after this. I may also have allowed my mechs to get too close to your forward firing heart for that king crab. I don't know yet. We'll see in a moment. <laughs> All right, Flashman. Getting a head hit and it gets re-rolled to the center torso thanks to Edge. Wolverine taking some damage. Nothing big and juicy yet. Wolverine returning fire also gets a head hit, also re rolled, ironically enough, to the center torso. <laughs> yeah. Thunderbolt takes damage, I believe, for the first time of the match. It is the first time I'm recording it, and I dropped my pen. I'm glad you guys need that play. What? Thunderbolt firing on the Jenner, missing with. Two out of three lasers and one all of oh my god, get back to the right spot. Where am I? Uh, 
A Thunderbolt firing on the Jenner. Only hitting with one out of five weapon systems. Jenner takes a little bit of damage. And then my Jenner misses all of the shots. And fortunately for me, his Jenner misses all of its shots. But then my Jenner gets blasted by the King Crab, of all things. So my Jenner will now take damage for the first time of the match. So far, the only mech not damaged in any way, shape, or form is, of course, that fat-ass King Crab. And a yeah. Wolverine pilot needed to make a PSR, but he's fine. He needed to roll a 2. <laughs> Which is yeah. impossible to fail on a 2d6. No, I'm sorry, he needed a 3. He needed a 3. <laughs> yeah, so it's slightly possible. Light 1 in 6 chance. Got a little bit of heat up on the field. That Jenner cooking itself a little bit, but we'll see how it plays out for him. And my initiative slump is gone. I did lose my guarantee, though. My Jenner is going second, ironically, after his Jenner. 95 to 94 going into round five, still favoring the Marix. And my cat is aggressively scratching at his scratching post. I think he's trying to tell me that he wants to play without telling me he wants to play. He does. Oh, it's my turn to move. Yep. Uh, let's see. Yep, keep going. Damn, I really did get shafted on the initiative here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I just felt like laughing like that. Uh -huh. That doesn't really have a lot to do with where your Wolverine moved. Once again, PSR is to move over. Elevation changes going backwards. Let's see. All right.
Yep, I definitely fucked up with my genders. Or with the genders. Oh well. Moving on. My Jenner hits your Jenner. Your Jenner fires at and misses my Jenner. Flashman firing at the King Crab. Looks like he hits with everything. He does. Wolverine firing on the... Oh, King Crab just took damage for the first time. I gotta mark that. Let's see. Wolverine firing on the Flashman. Flashman is fine. Thunderbolt firing on the King Crab. Hits with everything. 15 out of 15 missiles and 2 out of 2 missiles. That's impressive. Uh, as well as a large laser hit, of course. King Crab firing first on the Thunderbolt. Head hit, or excuse me, a right arm critical hit. Rerolled with edge, and I believe that pilot has... Well, he only has one edge remaining. Thunderbolt, let me see, no internal yet. Thunderbolt makes his PSR, rolling a 3 when he needs a 2. Same thing for the King Crab needing a 2, rolling an 8. All mechs are still standing. Thunderbolt is down to zero edge. Ah, he is. I see that at the end there. Yeah. Because one of the missiles hit something juicy. Yep. Unfortunate. Oh, look at that. Dragon Warden Jenner taking internal damage. I mean, it's a light mech. That's what they do. They, they literally go max speed and take internal damage. Literally. Both Jenners at Pretty 10 much. heat. Everybody else is still in the manageable range. Thunderbolt is at 5, which will give him a minus 1 movement range. Or, excuse me, minus 1 walk, which will be something like minus 2 run. Oh, look! My Jenner is now going first. I called it, didn't I? 92 to 88 in the battle value. Going into round 6 now. Where do I want to take my Jenner, who has ridiculous amounts of heat? That I can't get away from your Jenner unless I somehow distract your Jenner with something shiny. Like a disco ball. Uh, that's a great question. Are we playing the mirror game with Jenners? Because I feel like we're playing the mirror game with Jenners. I'll take a chance at a kick to the head. No, you will. With woods cover as well? Hell yeah. <laughs>
All right. I don't feel particularly confident of this round doing not doing any favors for me. I may have made a tactical blunder in my choices of what to fire at. Yeah. But also because I allowed you get within... That's the funny thing about Range Master. I don't know if you could really play with Range Master options in, like, Tabletop, but in Mega Mech, you can only swap short-range modifiers to a different range bracket. Because I would have liked Isn't to have done... Range Master is? Uh, basically, yeah. I, I, Maybe I just misunderstood it at some point in my past, and now I just don't get it, I guess. Because in my head, what I would like to do is instead of having swapping short for long or short for medium or, or not no uh, medium for long is basically move short to long long to medium medium to short if that makes any sense the way i explained it but that would require flopping a couple things around instead of just making one thing flop for that looks like we got some internal structure shit going on jenner taking some internal from a long range shot on a large laser my Thunderbolt firing on the King Crab. A head hit re-rolled. Uh, let's see. King Crab gets some internal juices on the Thunderbolt. And now the Thunderbolt was crippled because it lost its whole ass leg. That is a problem. So oh. Thunderbolt is crippled with a leg yeah. just literally snapped right off. Thunderbolt falls over. Snapped off by an SRM. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed with that. That was one of those wild-ass <laughs> shots that you just don't anticipate. Uh, Zhao is fine. They have not hurt themselves, but they are probably basically out of the match. Mm -hmm. Need an 11. Fuck <laughs> off. Uh, let's see. Flashman taking internal structure damage now. With that punch. You punched the Flashman? Why didn't you kick him? Oh, it kicks using the punch. I've, I've read that wrong. You punch. Yeah, well, I Not punched me. your Jenner. You, but I read using punch table and forgot that you have to use a... Yeah, I, I'm good now. Eat is still fine. Yeah. Fours and fives for a couple of mechs. Otherwise, ones are nothing. I get the initiative bonus, but I have lost the edge in uh, battle value. And also all of my edge, I think, except for maybe my general pilot. <laughs> yeah. It's only because my general pilot has only taken a couple of shots. Yeah, I say, up. yeah, I needed a six. <laughs> I needed a six to get up. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> What's your piloting? One? Yeah. Oh, wait, oh. wait, which one's the first one? Piloting? Is pilot the first one? Yeah, piloting one. No, second. Uh, I, it, she's a two-one pilot. Uh, yeah. But piloting is one, is, is what I was getting at. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. <laughs> Weevil wobbles fall, but they don't something. I almost said don't get up, and that's not right. <laughs> because I did just get up. <laughs> Weevil wobbles fall over, but they don't stay down. Maybe that's what, how the lyric goes. I don't know. I don't remember everything. I don't remember a lot of things, to be honest. I know, right? So many things that were fun just kind of fade from memory. No, like most of my childhood. Although, yep. I was going to make a dark joke, but I already screwed it up. But then I realized, no, I just, I don't, I think there's enough dark childhood shit out there in the world. We don't need to add any more with stupid flipping comments. Mm-hmm. 
All I know is I've got a king crab barreling down on my two mechs, one of which is pretty well fucked. Let's see. Okay. Not quite what I wanted to do with the Jenner, but whatever. What the fuck ever? Um. Whoa, that is not what I expected at all. I did not see that one through. What? Ah, uh, yes, there's... Oh, shoulder actuator got destroyed. Hold on. Flashman took internal, not just internal, but took a critical. That's a heavy... Heavy damage on the yeah. flash, man. I missed that. I was, like, looking at this hit number. Oh, I'm like, you, I thought you mentioned it. Well, that he had taken hit hits and marked it as internal, which is moderate, but I missed, like, on a conscious level, missed the fact that he lost a critical slot. Probably because I was distracted by the uh, Thunderbolt losing its whole ass leg from one stupid missile. I'm looking at this and like, why does he got to roll a 13 That's to just hit? Great. I know. Live, just live. Oh, I'm running out of time. I'm overthinking shit here. So let's see. Boom. What? Oh God, damn it! All right. Squeezing it in at the very last second there, but here we go. Thunderbolt hitting the King Crab with everything it fired except for the missiles. King Crab is just like, yep, that's light damage. That'll buff out. Jenner firing on the Jenner and getting critical hit slots on your Jenner. Bumping your Jenner up to heavy damage now. Also taking out what looks like two whole ass medium lasers and an arm. Yep. Uh, let's see. Critical hit on the Thunderbolt LRM-15. That's unfortunate. My Thunderbolt is already crippled because it's lost its leg. Uh, Zhao takes a hit, though. That's not cool, man. Uh, let's Canyon see. hit. Gyro hit. No. No, Lower it's already crippled. Hit. Why you got to keep annihilating it? Probably because I stood him back Minion up. laser hit. Wolverine getting fucked up. Losing shit as well. And just a lower arm actuator. And the oh, I thought I saw a laser on the Wolverine, but I see that I was just dumb. Um, Zhao takes another hit. That's two hits. Uh, see, everything else is uh, you know, still doing the things. Thunderbolt is probably just fucking done at this point. Oh, it's got an engine hit, critical on the gyro hit, loss of leg. Its ability to stand is de just just. Greatly diminished at this point. <laughs> Don't think that thing is going to stand up for a while. Ch 
Jenner destroys your Jenner's leg, crippling it. Yeah. Uh, my Jenner takes damage. My Flashman kicks the bejesus out of your leg, but doesn't do anything else to it. It just stays there being kicked. Uh, Wolverine taking internal damage, but that's immaterial. Uh, Wolverine returning the kick on the Flashman. Flashman is still standing. Jenner is still standing. Wolverine is still standing. Jenner falls over. McClendon takes oh, yeah. it. Well, yeah, of course he was going to take over. His leg is fucked. Not gone. hard. Is it gone, gone? Oh, yeah, it is. Section destroyed. Yeah. Wow, look at that heat build up on the mechs. Eight, nine, four, uh, four, two, and twelve. Things are getting mm -hmm. toasty out there. 72 to 74. Points wise, the match is still close. Unfortunately, it is in your favor at the moment. Initiative wise, yep. I am, once again, not doing well. Shocker, I'm sure, to some. Now that King Crab just fires everything it has on everybody, and everybody dies. Predictions. No, oh, you don't want to let me kick your in the head again? No. Duh. <laughs> That was a one-time deal. I, I, it was. It's too dangerous to risk such a thing like that again. I definitely baited uh -huh. your Wolverine in for that shot. I'm not gonna lie to you. I definitely did that on purpose. But I'm not doing it a second time. No, I'm. I'm foolish. I'm not stupid. <laughs> Actually, I am pretty fucking dumb. Let's be honest here. <laughs> oh man, that hurt. Though. It sounded. Oh, let's see. Can I recall who damaged the fucking Thunderbolt last? Was the Thunderbolt damaged last by the King Crab? I feel like it was. Let me look. I'm looking too. Thunderbolt SRM6. That's the one that took out the engine and gyro. That obviously came from the King Crab. All right, King Crab pilot is going to get kill credit for the. Uh, Thunderbolt, as soon as I get back to the screen to eject him. Yep. Under the mech. Uh, let's see. More, more. Where is the eject button? There it is. Eject. And whatever the game says about the pilot, the pilot is fine, minus the fact that she has taken two hits. <laughs> minus the fact. What's that? Minus the fact. Yeah, I mean, she's take, she took the two hits. One from, I don't know, I think it was a head hit or something, and then when she fell over and bit her tongue. Because, you know, making shit up. It's not right. That random-ass missile taking off a whole fucking leg. That's ridiculous, man. <laughs> I loved it. I mean, it's funny. I'm not going to lie to you. It's pretty fucking funny. I just was not at all expecting that. Oh. And I was not expecting this. I should have ejected the Jenner. All weapons are gone. Oh, I didn't even pay attention. Leg to is gone. I didn't really pay a lot of attention to that either. Otherwise, I would have just been like, hey, maybe you should eject him unless you think you could do something. Yeah, I'm going to eject the Jenner next time I get a chance. Okay, I will not fire just so that my Jenner pilot doesn't actually, like, kill anybody and take a fan hit because intentional firing on a downed mech, etc. Mm-hmm. Though my Jenner pilot's probably going to get blasted by the King Crab because I didn't do anything with my Jenner besides guard your Jenner. Or not guard, but guard against your Jenner. Yeah. Uh, since you have declared your ejection 
plans for your generator. I'm going to go ahead and count that credit for my guy. Go for it. So Perk T will get the point, and I will get a single point for the generator. Question that remains now is which mech did the King Crab blast into smithereens? The Flashman or the Jet? We'll find out here in just a moment, but I'm curious. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'll wait until I start tallying up the hits. Here we go. Flashman getting a bunch of hits in on the Wolverine. Internal structure, internal structure. Section destroyed on the Wolverine's leg. Wolverine goes down crippled, I'm sure. Also loses some uh, SRM stuffs. King Crab. Taking a big chunk out of the Flashman. A head hit gets re-rolled into another head hit without edge. Copeland, the pilot of the Flashman, takes a head blast and himself is now injured slightly. AMS does shoot down some of the missiles, but the Flashman continues to take fire. And for all intents and purposes, Flashman is still in the fight at the moment. Wolverine firing now on the Flashman. Copeland takes another fucking hit, up to three total at this point. Fuck me. Copeland, hang in there, guy. Hang in there. And there goes some lasers off of the Flashman. Fuck. Flashman is still standing. Wolverine falls over. Groy, the pilot of the Wolverine, does black out. He only has one hit, though. He just happens to black out and will now need... Oh, no, no, nope. I take that no, back. He nope, he already rolled. He rolled. Yep. Yeah. Yep. He, uh, he prayed to all the wonderful mech jock gods that are out there. And one of them said... Okay, you can stay awake a little bit longer. Yep. My Flashman is now going to pummel the downed Wolverine. My Jenner is going to ignore the other Jenner. And the left, left torso is now blown off of the Wolverine. This is going to swing the battle value uh, distance gap thingy back in favor of the Merricks, it looks like. Heat is up on the Flashman. He did fire a bunch of his lasers. He is also up on the King Crab. Initiative. Oh my, oh my god. Look at that initiative. <laughs> and oh wow. I thought that battle value was going to go in my favor after that round. But I forgot because I dumped my Thunderbolt. And you haven't dumped your Jenner yet. You've got a 11% lead going into round 9. Yeah. Your move. Yeah, it is my move, and I'm going to, I kind of want to stay there so I can keep beating on that Wolverine, but it, I don't think he's got a whole lot left in him, so now i got to worry about that King Crab that I cannot fight on my own, and I'm going to have to, <laughs> and I'm going to have to, that's the fucking problem, shit, okay, we'll run for the trees, and then, my Jenner is still in the fight, Also going to run him this way. And my pilot is just gonna go, I don't know, cook some marshmallows over the burning embers of its back. Inject is where. Uh you have to hit the more button like three times before it pops up.
McClendon's fine. Ignore all that bullshit. Okay. It's it it's only for the game and like battle value counting and all that that we have mechs eject when we, when they're surrendered. Realistically, what really happens is the pilot's like, "Yeah, I'm done. I'm gonna go pilot what's left of this mech off the map." <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get into the shooty shoots here. I'll probably get myself completely fucking annihilated. Oops. Because at this point, it's literally all I can do is to just fire and hope for the goddamn best. Two. Oh, oh, motherfucker. What? Your king crab is not in line of sight of my Jenner. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm well aware. Oh, you son of a bitch. You did that on purpose. Of course you did. <laughs> Looking at the map, and it just just it just doesn't click in my head until I go to shoot at the king crab, and I'm like, I can't shoot at the king crab. Something's blocking my line of sight. Fuck. Are you gonna keep the Wolverine in the fight, even though he's pretty well banged up as well? He still got three weapons. Can he stand and shoot? He is standing. Fuck me! I am done. <laughs> I did not. I did not pay attention to that. What did he need? Did he? Did he need to roll a one to stand up too? Or what was that? What did I have to roll earlier? A six. <laughs> Fuck. Well, there goes the flash man. Hopefully, not do an ammo explosion. Knocking on wood here. Oh shit. Oh, fuck. Copeland is fucked. Uh, yeah. All right, let's let's get through all of this here. Flashman hits the King Crab. King Crab takes some internal damage and a shoulder actuator hit. That's going to take King Crab up to heavy damage. Uh, and I just realized I forgot to take note of how much the he King Crab's extra repair fee is, but I'll get to that shortly. Uh, King Crab took a hit at the head, but it has zero edge remaining now. It's re-rolled. Yep, I saw that. Uh, let's see... Flashman blasted with a little bit of everything. Copeland is now at four hits. He is, and he's asleep. He is out. He is counting whatever it is that people count when they're asleep. Wolverine fires but misses. King Crab makes a PSR. And I am in a horrible, horrible position going into the final round. I don't think the industrialists are going to pull this off. My dude is knocked as they say, the fuck out. 51 to 55, favoring the Dragonborn now going into the final round. And the only mech I have active is a Jenner, who is moving first, as it turns out. Fuck my life. <laughs> nah. I'm going to run away. <laughs> because I can't think of any other conceivable option for me. <laughs> the Mercs are not going to win. They are not going to win. You're going to get the match, which will give you the match points. You've got a heavy kill to a light kill. Short of them legit saying, no, we surrender, which they're not going to do, you've got this match. So... Yep. Nobody is in range of the Jenner. My pilot certainly can't shoot. And my sleepy boy obviously cannot shoot. Now we see if you decide to blow up the Flashman forever. Or if you just let a sleeping man sleep. No, oh, hell no. I mean, technically, he's still a combatant for all intents and purposes. I don't... I'd, I have, to, I'd have to double-check exactly how I worded the fan modifier for shooting on a downed pilot or whatever the fuck it is. I'm pretty sure it's just shooting on... attacking a pilot on the ground. Like, a, out, you know, a pilot out of the mech. Let me see what it says. Curious enough. Let's 
Ah, intentional pilot kill. Ooh, attacking an unconscious pilot or mech is a minus three to the fan roll. But it's only fans. Oh, no, 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 I did not mean that. Literally, like, not the website. I meant it's only for the fans. Not so much money and shit. See, what does Darius do? Does he annihilate my Flashman? And maybe kill one of the best pilots in the Merrick stable? No, I don't want to kill him. I don't want you to kill him either. <laughs> He's already fucked with four injury. Good thing this is pretty much the end of the season for the Merricks. Hey, but I can finally spend their experience points, though. I'm, I'm talking shit. Don't listen to anything coming out of my mouth right now. Did we freeze up, or are you still planning your fire? No, I'm still firing. Okay, just double checking. Flashman losing a leg, but let's get back on track starting at the top. Wolverine blows out an arm on the Flashman. Let's see, Flashman is not yet crippled. PPC at the Flashman, LB10X, needs a zero. Oh, because he's unconscious and not moving. Yeah, that would that would make sense. Jesus Christ. Leg blown off, so that's a crippled Flashman. Let's see, what else do we got? Center torso, a bunch of other shit. Flashman falls over because the pilot can't even save himself. And now the pilot is at five total hits. Thank God for him that this is the final round and nothing else happens to him. Yeah. So it literally would have killed him. And that's one of my one of the Merrick's best pilots. McClendon is still asleep, and Copeland will not wake up for a few days, probably. <laughs> oh man, look at that heat on the King Crab. Got him up to ten. Yeah. All right. Well, thirty-three to fifty-five battle value as far as any sort of final score goes let's start tallying shit up for the post match we'll start with who won well obviously that was the dragonborn congratulations to the luthian dragonborn first of two teams identified for the trinity cup championship finals so you'll get three for that oh the other match hasn't been played yet it has not i gotta start kind of I, well when I say I gotta put some pressure on them, I mean like I need to touch base and see what's going on, see what we can do to get it scheduled. But I wouldn't try to. Yeah. I wouldn't dare try to pressure Grim Dark James to do anything. I feel like I'm just playing with fate if I do that. <laughs> uh, let's see. You get three points for winning. You get three additional points for the Thunderbolt. That gives you a total of six. <laughs> get one point for losing and one point for the Jenner that I killed for a total of two. So it looks like our final score is six to two. Uh, let's see. Fans and up fan modifiers for this match. Alright, so you get a plus one for winning. Uh, this will be a second win in a row for you, so that's another plus one for a total of plus two. No mechs destroyed outright. No intentional pilot kills. Attacking a pilot, un excuse me, unconscious pilot 
You did attack an unconscious pilot, so that's a minus three for a total of minus one. We didn't have any physical attack kills, and we didn't have any DFA kills. So you get a 2d6 minus one, but you also get... Nope, that's not what I was thinking. Never mind. So yeah, 2d6 minus one. To see how many fans you gain and or lose. 2d6 minus one? Correct. Even with all those bonuses? Yep, you get plus one for winning, plus an additional one for the uh, two-win streak. And then nothing else came into play other than the minus three for the shooting on the unconscious pilot mech. For a total of five. five. Let's see, what do we got? No change. So you will okay. get, you do get two additional fans from your sponsorships as your final number for that, as far as that goes. Yep. Uh... Let's see, what else? Fans, for the Merricks, they will get a 2d6, let's see, minus one for losing, no streaks, uh, no mechs destroyed outright, no other modifiers, so minus one for that. They do get, let me double check something. I thought I had, I have plus two F written here. I don't remember if that applies to the fan roll or plus two fans outright because of the stadium. Yeah, plus two modifier to fan rolls when at home. So that's plus one total. 2d6 plus one total. Six, nine, plus one is ten. Mm. That is plus two fans. And then the wealth six plus. Mm. Hey, are you are you good? You're welcome. By the way, for Merrick. what what do the Merricks get from the Luth, the Dragonborn besides a loss? <laughs> <laughs> you got more fans. Oh yes, yes, more fans. They're probably like. All oh, those sneaky bastard Koreans, how dare they fire on a downed mech? And now they really like the Merricks because, you know, that's how that works. Right. Yeah. All right. Final score is six to two. That means six plus two is eight. The winner receives 18 wealth uh, for match earnings, and the loser receives eight wealth for match earnings before anything else is applied. So let's go ahead and update some spreadsheets. Starting with the Merricks, they gained two fans. They now have 53 fans. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of fans. Uh, and then they were eliminated by the Dragonborn in semifinals. Unfortunate. All right, let's see. Match earnings, eight. Fan income is, what is the number? Scroll up a little bit. 32 fan income. Uh, uh, let's see. Stadium income. I need to get back in here. Roll a 1d6. 1d6. Yep. 1d6 for stadium income. I rolled a 6. Nice. 6 for the stadium. Stadium. Nice. Let's get the um. Five. If I sell a mech and uh -huh. it's heavily damaged, what does that do to the price? Uh, it reduces it. The specific number I got to look in the rules for heavily damaged. I think it has to. I think it gets reduced to or by. Uh, I, I'd have to double check. I'm now. I'm getting too many numbers in my head at once. It does reduce okay. the overall price. Uh, That's see. what I thought. Well, uh, all right. Let's do. The Dragonborn now. No. no fan number changes. Defeated Industrialists. Semifinals. Finances. Match earnings. 18 wealth. 29 from their fans. No other sources of income. Let's look now. What is next? What's next on my cheat sheet? Because I don't remember jack shit. The draft, that only applies to the losing team. 
in the, in the playoffs, if that is. So, uh, 2d6 minus 1. Hold, hold 2d6 to see how many teams are lost to the draft. And add modifiers shown below. Okay, 2d6 minus 1 for losing the match. Plus 1 for a postseason match. So, 2d6 flat. If I'm reading my own stupid rules right. No, uh, no losing or win streaks are fine. So just 2d6 flat out. And I rolled a 7. No one is drafted for the Mercs. Awesome. And now <laughs> I don't I don't have to worry about the repair costs because it's assumed that it, everything will be covered during the uh, off-season time. So all of their expenses I'm not worried about. Do have to figure out your expenses, but you don't have to worry about the draft yet because it's still the postseason for you. So, for your team expenses, we are looking at first maintenance. How many mechs does your team have? Let's look at your spreadsheet. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total mechs. Three went to the field, so that is a minus four for maintenance. No biggie. Uh, hold, on, hold on, wait a minute. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm only counting six. I have two Warhammers, a King Crab, a Griffin and the Wolverine, a Spider and the Jenner. No, the Spider got sold. A long time ago. I wonder how I missed that, but okay. I'll take it off. And that will make your maintenance a minus three for maintenance. Uh, let's see, where are we at now? No, it's it, it, Sorry? Oh, it's only minus three. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because maintenance is uh, it's just one one wealth for each mech that didn't go to the field, basically. As long as as long okay. as a, as long as there's a tech assigned to it. Otherwise, there's right. other things that happen if there isn't. Uh, salaries. It is uh, let me double check this. Two wealth for all of your green and regulars. Uh, these are all not so three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, including your injured mech pilots. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. For salaries. Repair costs. Well, let's, yeah, we'll, we'll do repair costs first. Okay. Uh, King Crab. Sitting at heavily damaged. Because I took a shoulder actuator hit or some shit. So an assault mech heavily damaged is eight. But Sorry, what was the salaries? Salaries was minus thirteen. Total. Okay. And then that does include, of course, your injured pilots who are still being paid, unless you choose not to for yep. some reason. No, I'm I'm paying them. Yeah. Uh let's see. King Crab, eight wealth for repairs because it's heavily damaged assault mech plus four. Because it's a advanced max, so that's twelve. Wolverine medium max crippled is six, and then your Jenner also crippled is four, giving you a total of twenty-two in repair costs and one injury for your one pilot is going to be one medical. Uh, you ask about selling a busted mech. What did you want to sell one of these mechs? Yeah, the Jenner that ah. busted up the crippled Jenner. I think you're going to end up with like one wealth, but let me. Uh, I don't need this. Screen. Oh, was it crippled? Yeah, the Jenner because it lost a leg. No, not the one that I just used. Oh, did you have? Oh, the other one. I thought you sold that one. Hold on. Maybe I got confused. It had heavy damage. Yes. I sold it at full price. Uh, you had already repaired. Uh, I basically, we'll say we, I made a judgment call because I had a note for that particular Jenner that it was the repairs had been paid and then ultimately the, the tax hadn't yet finished repairs. I'm going to waive that you sold it once it was finished repaired. Mm. So you got the full price for it, basically. And then the full price that you got for it was spent on your brand new Jenner that got crippled tonight. But that's that's logistics for you, you know? <laughs> uh, minus 13, minus 1. 
leaving you with a grand total of 85 wealth after this match. All net proceeds, etc. adjusted. Uh, you did sell the spider like two weeks ago. Well, in game it was two weeks ago. In real life it was like six years ago. But regardless, I see now the note for when you sold the spider. In week nine. Um, it's 84, not 85. My numbers are coming up with 84. Or, excuse me, 85. Uh, match earnings, 18. Fan income, 29. Let me scroll up. Yep, I got the right number there. Uh, minus 13 for salaries. Minus 3 for maintenance. Minus 22 for repair. Minus 1 for medical. And then plus 2 for marketing. Correct. And then the selling and buying of the Jenner is even now. Yep. And I come up with 85. Double check your new balance at the top. 74 and 18. Nice. It should be 92. No, you're right. Simple math says that. <laughs> and somehow I've got 93 in here. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's, let's check this. So it should be this plus this. Nope, that's not that right. All right, let's, let's put this out. The sum of this plus Could be K56 and F64. Yeah, I had the wrong cell selected for some reason when I did that. I see where I made the mistake now. It, it bounces out to 84 again. We are on the same page. Literally, on, on the same tab even. Uh, let's see, what's next before I forget? Because I forget everything all the time. Uh, ah. Did all that. Uh, experience points for the pilots? In fact, I feel like that's the next thing. Oh, where am I? Yeah. And repair rolls. Oh, we gotta do repair rolls first. Oh, yeah. Uh, Alright, so, for the King Crab, you have Natural Aptitude Tech, which gives you, if memory serves, let me double check this, but I'm pretty sure that's the 2d6 and take the better result. Uh, natural Aptitude, yep, roll 2d6 for the repair rolls, and use the higher of the two dice rolled to determine results. So, uh, for yep. your King Crab, you need a 3 plus. Go ahead and give me that 2d6 roll. You have <laughs> fucking seven attempts to get this right with all the dice in the world. So, I think it's safe to say your King Crab is going to be repaired, but let's see if you fail multiple times so I can laugh my ass off. Uh, you got a, you, yeah, yeah, both of those two dice were three plus. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Yep. Fine. King Crab's repaired. <laughs> All right. Wolverine requires a four plus. You also have two dice with this, and you have five total attempts. There's one of those five, so you have four attempts remaining. Um, What does it need to be over? Uh, four plus. There it is. There you go. <laughs> and for your Jenner, five plus, and you have three total attempts. On and one die? Correct, one die. Hey, there we go. Jesus. All right, all your mechs are repaired. And now I add experience points for all the pilots and techs that participated. Starting with the Merricks. Because they just get one additional point. Uh, the three pilots are Copeland goes from eight to nine. Zhao goes from nine to ten. And Perky gets two points because he got a kill. Goes from eight to ten. And then their techs, Zappo goes up to and twelve. Then, and Zhao goes from nine to hospital. No, that's actually Copeland that goes from whatever to hospital. I'll update oh. that. Well, I'm not. I'm, the Merricks are out for the season at this point, so a lot of this, like, I need to put the experience points in to spend them later. But other things I don't really need to add because they're going to get something of a reset with the with the season change. Yep. Eleven for Risotto and Radicano gets one. Also, where are you? Right there, fourteen. Right. Save them. 
close them. Uh, then we go over here. Hideo gets three, Roy gets two, and McClendon gets two. So, Hideo, three points to 17. Roy gets two points to 11. And then McClendon gets two points to seven. And Roy took one injury. He will be back in the finals if you choose to use him. Tex. Yep, I will. Laurent gets two up to 14. Uh, where am I? Marcius gets two up to 12. And Damadred gets two up to 17. And she is complete. Close that. Get this out of my way. Go back to the, the faces overlay. Back in the studio, Olaf is... Well, you know, he initially rooted for the underdogs that the Rock City Wolverines were. He rooted for the Mericks because they were his favorite team forever. So he's not pleased. But he's happy that you won. But he's not pleased. Uh, so, so somewhere in there on his face are those emotional constraints with which to work. And he says, well, Darius, looks like tonight when you go to see your wife, you have some good news for her. Sorry, he probably actually, go see I was going to say, I, actually, I don't think he would actually call you Darius. He would call you Mata Marie Sama or something like that. He, he's not quite that familiar with you to use your first name openly like that. But regardless. That was an interesting match. It started off with the Mericks having an obvious lead uh, that slowly was eroded over time. Your skill or their mistakes or combination? What do you think? I think my B team is better than their A team. The Merricks have heard you. and They will be upset about this. I feel like this is a safe thing that I can say that will somehow totally never come back into play ever again in the future. <laughs> At any rate, who cares? You won. You're going to the finals. What's next? Disneyland or something? I can't probably say Disneyland. I don't think it exists on Solaris. <laughs> I I don't think the uh, uh, amusement park would be a good place to take my wife at her current state. No, probably want to you know wait until the bandages are removed and she's got full locomotion and all that first. Yep. Speaking of full locomotion and bandages, Copeland took a lot of personal injuries tonight looks like he yes he did will be out for several weeks possibly in the same ward as your team how does that make you feel um mixed it's it's kind of nice seeing that it's not just my team but it sucks seeing other mech jocks in the in the hospital yeah <laughs> yeah understandably so understandably so well any final thoughts for our viewers here on Solaris and abroad in the inner sphere when they finally catch up with the time delay of whenever it takes this message to be broadcast through all of human space. Where are your seatbelts? <laughs> I think both of us are laughing, Olaf and me. That was a good one. <laughs> All right, well, obviously, at this point, the studio lights come back up and the camera stop rolling and all that. Darius, that was an intriguing match, and I can tell you right now, I'm gonna, well, I'll just tell you, my initial plan, I was going to basically ignore the shit out of your King Crab, except for my mm -hmm. Jenner. I wanted to see if I could get my Jenner to get in the rear arc and just be a nuisance and use the other two mechs to obliterate the uh, Wolverine in your Jenner but I allowed my Jenner to get distracted by the shiny backside of your Jenner, and it went downhill from there. I don't know if my strategy would have worked if I had stuck with it, but that was my plan. But I got... I got new shiny. By my own stupid new shiny brain. <laughs> I got... I think I got greedy. I thought I saw a moment where I thought I could kill the Jenner and get an early point, 
but it didn't work and fucked up from there. Yep. Because I figured if I ignored your king crab, I could eventually get into a position where I would have more numbers on the board and able to play keep away with the king crab and just whittle it down and maybe by the end of the match have enough points to win, maybe even get a king crab kill. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Nope. Oh, and I am so glad I didn't have to rely on case this time. No, no. Well, I also didn't focus the shit out of your King Crab though, like I like I did the last time the Merrick's played the, the Dragonborn. Yeah. It was a good match. Though. Not until well, not until later in the match. You sort of focused on it. I kind of ended up sort in a of. position I kind of ended up in a position where I had to at least give it some considerable attention that I initially didn't want to. I really had planned on like the only thing I was going to do was use my Jenner as a deterrent to annoy the shit out of you by plunking at your back armor. And that pilot has hot dogs, so I was like I'm going to run the heat up as high as I need to in order to make this happen. It just didn't work out. <laughs> it didn't work out at all. Mm -hmm. And the map or the pilot that had melee master is the one that took a, a leg loss from a fucking SRM missile. Yeah. So any thoughts I might have had of getting into melee range, which I was avoiding because of how range master works. <laughs> like I kind of stacked my own deck against me, really. But mm -hmm. I thought I had a half decent plan. I just failed to, like usual, stick with the plan religiously. Any thoughts from your side? Plans are sorry, plans should be made so that they're flexible. Yeah. Plan to win, not plan to fail. I plan to do something. I I mean, I'm in a position where, as the game master of this entire thing, I don't necessarily have to play to win. I just have to play to confound you. <laughs> now, that said, I did obviously intend to set up win, but I also, as the game master of this entire thing, knowing that the winner of this match is going to the finals, my desire to win wasn't as high as it was as giving you a, a fair challenge for your own skill. Whether or not yeah. I achieve that is a different a, a different story. So it definitely got close in the last couple of rounds. Uh, well, by the last couple, I mean like yeah, round I seven and eight, not so much nine or ten. <laughs> right, <laughs> but definitely not ten. Hmm. I would say that you played well. Tend to play well, but yes. <laughs> Tend to. <laughs> I'm downing myself. Don't let me don't let me don't let me do it. You you take the mic and talk for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you do tend to play well. Um there are some things you could improve on. Um, mainly following through, uh, figuring out what you're going to do and, and figuring out how to follow through with it. Yeah. And I, I, I do realize too, I think I even had, I know I have the thought right now, but I, I'm, I know I had it for a little bit in there. The idea of using range master uh -huh. And then trying to sucker your two smaller mechs into close quarters? Dumb idea. Just dumb. Those two ideas don't work well together whatsoever. And I'm thinking, like, now, thinking back to my initial planning, and I'm like, yeah, no, that was really dumb. I did not think that shit through. Because I think on some level, because I have no problem being like, fuck you, I'll put my mech right in your face and kick the shit out of you. With And having the melee uh, specialist or master or whatever the fuck it is on Zhao... That would have been awesome, but the range master 
is the exact opposite of wanting to get your opponent super close. You, you, you really want to keep them far. Very far. There was a number yeah, of times you where... You probably right, wanted to switch the pilots for those mechs. Yeah, but the problem is, is those pilots were the by far better pilots in the in the Merrick stable, which is a problem across the board. Is Most teams have three or four good pilots, and all the rest of their pilots, however many there may be, are not so good. So swapping out A team and B team is really not helpful at all for anybody. No, no, no. I'm I'm talking about keeping the same pilots. Oh. But swapping which mechs they were in. Oh, yeah, probably. That was that was something I had considered briefly, but I was like, eh, they both got range master. It's not that big of a deal. I wanted to make sure I had them in the long range weapons. But the melee specialist probably should have gone. Honestly, probably should have gone in the Flashman because the Flashman doesn't have LRMs, which you definitely want, regardless of what your range modifiers might be. You don't want LRMs used super close. Right. So, Unless you're in the plan mag, but we're not there yet. No, we got like 40 years before that shit happens. Well, 30. A little less than. Yeah. 30, 25, so. Got to make it to, well, 25 years, ironically enough. But anyway, any other final thoughts before we wrap here? And end the recording. Like I said, wear your seatbelt, people. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, my friends, that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you enjoyed the match. It was a, it was a good match, as always. Uh, sometime in the very near future, I say that in the, I don't know, next couple of weeks or so at the most, hopefully, knock on wood. We will get the uh, Davian Golden Suns taking on the Liren Debutants. We'll get that match done. I just got to coordinate with Full Hammer and Grip Dark James to make that happen. Also, try not to put too much pressure on them because, you know, real life is a pain in the ass. It's the summertime. Everybody has 101 things going on, and that's on top of their normal work schedule. So eventually we will get that semifinals, and then knock on some more wood, maybe throw some salt over our shoulders, We'll finally get the finals match, which I have predictions, but I'm going to keep my mouth shut and wait and see how this next match goes before I say much else. In the meantime, <laughs> my friends, if you enjoyed the show, please consider all the buttons, uh, likes. This, and... this is going to be a good match if me and Grim Dark. I think either match is going to be good, but I think as far as the the which match will be the more nail bitey, it will probably be you and uh, Grim Dark James. As far as, yeah. ooh, wonder how that's going to play out. Bowhammer yep. will definitely give you some heat. There's no question about that whatsoever. He will definitely give you a run for your money. What happens with a match between someone like you and Grimdark James is it's like watching chess masters. Not say, Again, not knocking Bowhammer in any way whatsoever. He's definitely giving me a run for my money, and we all know that I'm at least a half ass piece of shit player. Wait, that didn't come out right. I was I was downing myself again. At any rate, yeah, I got to. I can't help it. Self-deprecating humor to me is funny. So, but I also uh, have a weird sense of humor. Sometimes I have a weird sense of humor. That's all I can I say. Mean. <laughs> At any rate, I can't wait to see what happens over the next two matches that will close out this thirty twenty-five season for the Greyland Trails League. In the meantime, stay safe out there, my friends. It is a strange, dark place out there. You only have to look at the news to see why and how. Make sure you're doing what you got to do to take care of you and yours. As for me and mine, we are out of here. Catch you next time. Have a good one.